what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It is No Name back at it with another uh, picks video. This time I'm going to be doing week 5 of the NFL season as I'm trying to line up this right here. So, okay, bam. So now you can see all of my picks from last week. You guys know how I do this by this point on. We're going to go over first my picks from week 4. I went 11 and 5 this time around. I got 5 matchups wrong. You guys put what your, you know, your record was so far. I'm going to put up my overall record over the course of the 4 weeks in the NFL season so far is. And so yeah, you guys know how we do it here. First I'll go over this then we'll get into my picks for this week. The picks that I got wrong Let's go over that. Uh, so I got Colts at Bears wrong. I can't seem to remember what my reasoning was for the Bears winning. I guess my thought was that now Nick Foles is in there, he would have taken over and done a good job. That evidently was not the case. The Colts won. I think it was a 19 to 11 game. Browns at Cowboys. I said the Cowboys will come out and win. I did not realize that they have probably one of the worst defenses you know, in NFL history. I won't say the worst just yet but the cowboys defense is pretty damn terrible like the amount of points they've let up you know going into week five now absolutely horrendous and of course the browns had a great game from odell to help them win that texans versus vikings or vikings at texans i thought this would have been Deshaun and the texans first win of the season i thought it was just about time they had enough of losing they would find some way to pull it out that was not the case the vikings go in there and got their win Cardinals and Panthers I said the Cardinals will come out with a win not sure if you could consider this an upset but the Panthers did you know take that win and the Panthers in my opinion were not a, as good of a team as the Cardinals actually let me check see what the final score of that was it was 31 to 21 so the Panthers handily win that game there and then the last game I got wrong was Eagles at 49ers especially after the way the 49ers performed against my Giants I was like they're gonna curb stomp the Eagles that was not the case came out to be way closer than anybody expected it to be at one point CJ Beathard entered the game and well the Eagles came away with a win their first of the season they're now sitting on top of the NFC least at first um in that division so let's go on to week five here make sure everything's lined up bam okay so you guys can see all the games now let's get into the picks raiders at chiefs we're gonna go chiefs man the chiefs low-key might go 15 uh 16 and 0 um i don't know if there's any other game of the season right now that i could see them having trouble in i wouldn't want them to go 16 and 0 because i don't think there's ever been you know the, the patriots they went 16 no they didn't exactly win the super bowl let the Chiefs go like 14 and 2 or 15 and 1 or something. We'll see. And then maybe they have a chance at a repeat. Kind of superstitious that way. Broncos at Patriots. Not sure what the uh, decision is going to be on Cam Newton going into week five. Jared Stidham didn't look too good against the uh, Chiefs last week. Then it goes, it was the Chiefs. And then again, it was like what his first game starting. So not sure how you're going to judge that. But the Broncos aren't in any better position. I'm going to go with the better coaching in this one and select the Patriots. Bengals at Ravens. I'm gonna go Ravens. Uh, the Bengals did get their win last week, as I said they would. But let's be honest here: the Ravens are probably the second best team in the uh, entire NFL. Definitely the second best in the AFC. The Bengals ain't no match for them right now. But Joe Burrow, he's on a good rookie campaign, man. Proud of that guy. Jaguars at Texans, <laughs> AFC South matchup. And honestly, this was gonna be a matchup of whose team is worse. As is the uh, Giants at Cowboys, which obviously will get his own video, but. Jaguars at Texans, man. I'm not sure. I want to go Texans because they got the Sean, but Gardner Minshew ain't no slouch. That's not saying I'm comparing Gardner Minshew to the Sean. It's just the supporting cast around them. The Jaguars low key might have a better supporting cast around guard um, around Gardner Minshew than the Texans do around the Sean. I'm still gonna lead with the Texans here. This is like my third week in a row picking them to win to get their first win. It is what it is. Um, hopefully, they could actually get it this time here. Bills at Titans. We're going to go with the Bills. Um, especially with the fact that the Titans right now might not even play this game. You know, with their whole practice, you know, bunch of players caught in practice not abiding to the COVID rules. They already had one game pushed back. The Titans just look like they're continually, you know, going against the rules. What's the word I'm working for? Not breaking the rules, but they're just not listening to what the protocols is. And low key, they might have to forfeit this game if they continue to, you know, disregard everything that's being told to them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with Bills either way, even if they did play. Colts at Browns, we're going to go with Browns here. After that offensive, you know, shootout that they had against the Cowboys and after they almost choked the game, I think their offense is going to start to click now. That doesn't mean I expect them to score 50 points a game now, nah, but they're definitely going to start to click now. And I think the Browns can outscore the Colts. Although I will say, 
Colts currently have the number one defense in the NFL, which I think is a surprise to everybody. You know, so keep your eye on that. Maybe they could hold down the Browns a little bit. Cardinals at Jets. We're going to go Cardinals here to get their bounce back game. Jets are just the only team in the league that's worse than the Jets right now are my Giants. So that should tell you all you need to know. They're the second worst team in the league going up against a Cardinals team that's above average to say the least. So I think Kyle Murray comes in here and has a nice bounce back game. The Cardinals have a nice win to get back in the NFC West. There, Eagles at Steelers. This, this is Steelers. This is Steelers. What is this bed like emoji thing that's there? I don't know what that is. This, oh, that means they're just coming off the bye. Ah, that is right. Okay, because it's only the Titans and Steelers that have that. Okay, that makes sense. Another reason the Steelers might get this win is because they're just coming off the bye. Other than the fact that they're way better than the Eagles, and the Eagles are still a very bad team in the league right now. Dolphins at 49ers. 49ers probably get their bounce back win after what was supposed to be an easy game against the Eagles a lot harder than it turned out to be I'm still not sure on you know what the report is on uh, Jimmy G right now Either way, I expect them to win with CJ Beathard or Nick Mullins This Dolphins team is performing right around where it should be and they're no match for the 49ers at all man So I'm gonna go with the Niners here Chargers at Saints Yo are the Saints? Let me check the Saints record right now are the Saints like 2-2 two and two or something? Let's see, where are they? They did just win, oh, I almost could look. Yeah, the Saints are 2-2 two and two right now. They lost against the Packers and they lost against the Raiders, right? Where's that Raiders game? Did they not play the Raiders? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they lost against the Raiders and the Packers in back-to-back -back weeks. One against the Lions, uh, one against the Buccaneers. Then that was the Buccaneers before they had their footing. So you could kind of argue the Saints haven't really played too tough competition yet. And this is against the Chargers. I mean, it's not exactly like it's going to be tough competition. I'm still going to go with the Saints, but I, I want to keep my eye on them for the rest of the season. I really think that their window was closed to win the Super Bowl. This might be, you know, a year kind of like last year, how they got knocked out on the wild card. This might be another year where they get knocked out on the wild card again. Buccaneers at Bears. We're going to go with Buccaneers here. They're a team kind of like the Browns whose offense is seemingly starting to click although I will say I have more faith in the Buccaneers than I do the Browns because of their veteran you know presence on there and whatnot and also because they're not the Browns organization which just does not have a good history of anything so we're gonna go with Buccaneers Panthers at Falcons matchup of the NFC South what is the Panthers record let me check this real quick the Panthers are currently I want to say two and two they lost against the Raiders Lost against the Bucks, one against the Chargers, one against the Cardinals. Now they're going up against the Falcons. The Falcons are 0-4, right, bro? Oh man, this Falcons team. It must hurt being a Falcons fan. Because I feel like that's worse than being a Giants fan right now. Because every single game you're in, you have a lead, and then you choke the biggest leads possible. For that reason alone, I'm gonna go Panthers. Falcons ain't show me nothing yet. That gives me faith that they could hold any type of lead. If it's a one-point lead, if it's a 20-point lead for damn sure, they can't hold it. So I'm going to go with Panthers here. The Panthers are also rolling in with a bit more momentum. It just seems like they're a better coach team right now, which is surprising because Dan Quinn should definitely have the coaching advantage over Matt Rule. Uh, Rams, that football team, I'm going to go with Rams. Football team is outmatched, and they just benched Dwayne Haskins, which I thought was a bad idea. I have a separate video out on that if you guys want to go check it out, but... I don't think the Rams are going to lose to no football team. And um, other than last week where my Giants actually surprisingly held their offense in check, a top 10 offense in the league held down by the Giants defense. Other than that, their, their offense has been great. And I, I don't think Washington has that same level of defense that the Giants have. So I do think they could probably blow out the, the football team here. Obviously, I said Giants at Cowboys is going to have its own video. And then Vikings at Seahawks, we're going to go Seahawks. I mean, Seahawks is one of my pick. One of my picks to, you know, be in the NFC Championship, them and Green Bay. So, who, by the way, Green Bay and the Lions are on by this week. So, I really don't see them losing that much this season. Vikings, they had like, what, was that their first win of the season last week? We'll go back and we will check right here to see if that was indeed their first win of the season. If I could get back. Wow, I really clicked on a lot of stuff, huh? Yeah, that was their first win of the season, man. That was the only game so far that Kirk Cousins looked any type of good. And the offense was getting any type of movement. The Vikings defense is low-key disappointing this year as well. So, I mean, that same could be said for the Seahawks defense, actually. I expected the Seahawks defense to be a lot better than what it is. But this is Russell Wilson. I think this man has an MVP campaign. I think he's going to pull out this win no matter what. Put your picks down below. Your thoughts as well down below. These are my picks for the week. Hopefully, I go better than 11-5. and 5. 
hopefully the Texans get their first win. They're part of the reason I've been having such a, you know, a not great winning streak with these picks here. Maybe I should have been doing like a pick and pull or something, but I have no idea how to set that up. <laughs> Once again, put your thoughts down below, your picks. Let me know what you think. That's it for now, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.